Speaker, I'd like to raise an issue addressed to the Honourable Minister of Agro, Industry and Food Security. It is in fact something which I raised in this House a few months ago, and that was the invasion of monkeys. And unfortunately, c'est de mal en pis. Unfortunately, the situation is deteriorating, uh, especially in Portlis, at the bottom of the montagne near uh, Valipitos around, uh, area, but also where I live in Bobassin, next to Balfour, and with the summer coming in and the blossoming of mango trees and fruits, the situation is going to be even more difficult. And so I wanted to know from the Honourable Minister whether there is any hotline or any uh, institution where you know, people can turn to, just like you have uh, Powell's co collecting stray dogs, where you know, there is a mechanism at the level of his ministry where some people can call and then people can come and collect these uh, monkeys because they're, going, they're causing a lot of uh, problem. And now they're going into houses, they are you know, looking for food, and uh, you know, before they attack children also, I would be grateful if the Honourable Minister updates us on, on this situation. Yes, Madam Speaker, it is indeed a problem. The population of monkeys is keeping on growing uh, day by day. That is why at the, at the level of my ministry we have embarked on a program to, to trap those monkeys. So we have been placing traps in different areas. And, uh, and there is also, I must say, uh, a unit at the level of my ministry, which is an animal welfare unit, where you can uh, call them to uh, seek their, their, their intervention. And also the National Parks and Conservation Service also do provide some services in case there are monkeys causing some uh, problems in certain areas. So we, do, uh, we are uh, addressing the problem and hopefully we'll be able to, to, to kind of reduce that uh, kind of inconveniences in those areas which are being affected.